Hi, my name is Gordon Curry. I was captain of the school's first 15 back in 1980 to 81. It's hard to believe it's 40 years since we won the school's cup and just wonderful memories that I still have of that, of that time. Hi, my name's Brian Lamont and I scored the match winning try in the 1981 school's cup final. Duggan throws, Balamina have it, with Watson, Watson driving through there, well supported by Miller, Miller on another run, he's tackled by Paul Holmes, off goes McKenzie, McKenzie out to Dick, Balamina should get this, they have Lamont going blind, Lamont's clear, Lamont's clear and he scored! Scored by number six, uh, number seven, rather, Brian Lamont, line side wing forward. Well, he beat off two tackles and ran ten yards into the line. Coming into the season, we had had a, a disappointing season the season before, so there wasn't any big, I suppose, expectation uh, coming into that season, but we just seemed to be able to blend into a good side. We had a very strong f forward pack and, and good backs who could move the ball very well. But one of the big changes was, I think it was the first year that we had a forwards coach in Sam Alexander and a separate backs coach in Barry Cohen. And I think just that extra emphasis got us off to a good start. So coming into January, we, we had to play out at Eaton Park for the, our first round game against Dungannon. So we won that one 16-0 and uh, then went on to the next draw and of course our next three games we played the Belfast Big Three and in the second round we played Methody at home here and that was a real tug of war, that was a, that was a hard, hard match to get through. But we, we won that and that then the next round we got drawn away to Belfast Inst and that was up at Osborne Park. We knew that they had a lot of Ireland and Ulster players, but our forwards that day I think put on the, the best performance I've ever seen. We scrummed them more or less off the park. Timmy Gregg scored a couple of tries. Remember Paul Jemison kicking a penalty from the halfway and that was probably the best game I can I can remember ever playing in. So then we got drawn against Campbell in the in the semi final. So that was last year's finalist in Belfast Inst, then last year's winners. So the game up here was fantastic, and I remember I remember Peter Miller going in for the try, uh, and that really really set us on our way. So that was us us into the final, and uh, I think we never really thought about getting to the final because every game was a cliffhanger, and we were up against some really good teams. So we found ourselves in the final and uh, up against Bangor Grammar and. Uh, uh, Jim Neely said, the commentator said it was a, a, a very good final, but certainly it was a, the, the only difference between the two teams was really Brian Lamont getting that try. Um, I don't really remember that much about the build up just before the game, but I do remember when I think we had a team talk from Sam Alexander, Barry Cohen, and we ran out onto the pitch, and I remember the all the whistles and shouts and flag waving and it was just you just thought wow this is quite a big deal <laughs> um, and I mean I think as a 17 year old boy perhaps you didn't realize how big a deal playing in a schools cup final was it's funny how it's funny how little you remember sometimes you know from a 40 years ago but the one thing I do remember is the ball been moved out onto the left wing Peter Miller uh, as he normally was at the forefront of those drives in Bruce McKenzie. And then there's a, there's a mall forms out on the left wing and I just, I had a quick glance up the lane and thought, there's not really many defenders here. So I had a quick glance, but as a, he tap tackled me just as I was going near the line and the whole way in, I was just tripping over. So if I had another yard to go, I would not actually have scored. The amazing thing is my reaction after I score is very sort of low key. I think it was, it was almost surreal. I couldn't really believe I had scored. <laughs> uh, it was as if, I think the only thing was the noise of the crowd. Otherwise I thought, did I really score? Has, has the referee given it? And then I 
remember seeing the referee's arm go up, so I knew he had given the score. The first person onto the pitch, I remember I got hugged by a big massive bear hug by this man and I turned around and it was my father and he must have jumped over the, the sideline and over the the, uh, the fence and was on there and just he, he was in tears so uh, yeah, yeah it all comes back.